What's up YouTube? Aluma Joshi here. And this is my very first ever vlog. And for my very first ever vlog, I'm gonna let you guys know a little about myself and why I'm starting to vlog. Now, when I was a little bit younger, I, I had a bike, but it wasn't uh, I would I would say YouTube worthy. And I grew up kind of watching Chase on Two Wheels and M13, Jake the Garden Snake, just to name a few. And I always had a passion for for that, for watching those people and, and how much they enjoy doing what they love. Now, I don't know about you, but if there's any day that I can bring joy to someone else, whether it be by a silly little video that I make or anything else in this world, I would like to do my best to do that for you. Now, the machine, as a lot of you Yamaha fans can already tell from the dash, the 2006 Yamaha R6, most things are stock, some cosmetic upgrades and some gearing upgrades, uh, just for bottom end torque. And my motorcycle history is my first motorcycle being a 1983 Kawasaki KZ440. My second motorcycle was a 1994 Suzuki Katana 750 and now I am on one of my dream bikes personally uh, which is a much much nicer than uh, a 94 Suzuki Katana no offense to anyone who owns a Katana whatsoever Ooh. a little bit of Z4 action there are a few more vloggers from my area. Uh, Sergeant Markins, Rookzer, uh, awesome guy. I met him at bike night a couple couple weeks ago. And M6FZ6, just to name a few. Shout out to you guys. You know, supporting the or repping where we're from, rather. I call my home Louisville, Kentucky. And for all you people that think that Kentuckians are just fucking inbred hilly, hillbillies, hilly hillies, can't fucking even speak. We're actually not. Our city's beautiful. It's big. It's actually in the top like 15 largest cities in the country. Now, I'm overly excited to be a part of the moto vlogging community because the community is so great it's so great and these guys holding these these huge meetups where you've got you know hundreds and hundreds of motorcyclists showing up just to go ride together and it shows how strong of an impact the moto vloggers have on the motorcycling community I can't wait to be a part of Rooksir's um, motor vlogger meetup, the Kentucky Fried Meetup is what I think he's calling it. Rooksir, if that's wrong, uh, feel free to correct me on that. But I'll definitely be there. So with me being a new vlogger, I want to talk about some things upon dedication to uh, making this a hobby for me and part of that dedication is going to be uploading very regularly and my upload day, days are going to be monday wednesday and friday and within those three days i may have a different type of topic to talk about i may not i'm definitely going to have a different type of topic to talk about on those three different days Another motorcycle. Let's see if we can catch 
Didn't get to catch them. That's okay. Woo! Am I excited? Super excited. I can't wait to uh, to meet all the new people that I'm gonna be given the opportunity to meet. And I can't wait to travel to some other places and see some other places and go to some of those other motor vlogger meetups and, and, and meet the great people and the great faces that you know, that started all of this. And, you know, there's some of the, the really old school guys out there that are still doing it, which is amazing. Um, and they're still teaching the community that motorcycling is awesome. And together as people, whether you ride a sports bike, a cruiser, a Harley, whatever it may be, we are all on two wheels and we all face the same dangers every single day that we go out. Every single day that we decide to strap our helmets, we face the same dangers. I kind of want to follow that guy, but I don't. Mostly because I don't want to get too off track. Oh man. The roads are surprisingly dead. This road is typically so slack full of traffic that it takes 30 minutes to get from one end of it to the other. Lots of bikes out today. Well, here's your holiday. I can't sing worth a shit, but that's so fucking K. LA Fitness, whole dick in your butt. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. I apologize. <laughs> Except for not really, because I don't give a fuck. Oh, 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 marathon. Oh my god, it's such a nice day for riding. I'm so happy I came out today. This bike is more or less my commuter, which gets ridden very, very often. But the weather here in Kentucky is absolute shit. And I've heard the expression, we are nature's armpit. And that's no fucking joke, because it rains continuously here. I guess implying that Mother Nature sweaty fucking pits. We get all the all the good shit from that. <laughs> I'll tell you guys something funny. So the R6 being my absolute dream bike is the worst bike for me to ever have is a fucking dream bike. Because it has a 33 inch seat height. And I'm five foot fucking six. So I'm a borderline little person. I'm not going to call him a midget because that would be politically incorrect. Uh oh, got a little bit of rear tire squeal in there on the downshift. Look at that guy. Did he have fucking lipstick on? That was awesome. <laughs> Anyway guys, I know this may be a short video, but this video was kind of just to help explain who I am, what I'm trying to do, and my love for the overall community of motor vloggers and why I want to be a part of it. It's not going to let me go, I know it's not heavy enough. No, oh, no, don't leave me. I can't, I can't do it. Ah, uh, you know what? Open a load. 
one for the bitches and one for the dope. You know what? There is literally no need for anyone to have two phones. Period. I'm talking to you, Kevin. Yeah, I'm listening. Um, yeah. Someone's not going to be stupid and ride right beside someone else. Businessman. Oh, there I go looking for that sixth gear, seventh gear that this thing doesn't have. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, that hurt my fucking balls. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is just a small video telling you who I was. Most of these other guys have like a signature exit. I'm going to go ahead and say peace.